We're here at the Carson Plaza, where an RPV resident has perfected a 100-year-old chiropractic technique that may be new to you. So let's go check it out. The procedure actually was developed in the 30s by B.J. Palmer in Davenport, Iowa, and then it kind of lost its way over time. And just recently, last 15 years, it's made a resurgence, especially in the last five years, because there's been a lot of landmark research coming out, which is catching people's attention. Cervical refers to neck. Uh, in the upper cervical office, we see patients with every condition you can think of. So generally, the public thinks of chiropractic as a pain treatment system. Uh, and our rationale for what we do is the central nervous system, which is composed of the brain and the spinal cord, which passes down inside of the vertebra. So our specialty is determining which one of these vertebrae is misaligned out of position. Uh, and the way that we do that, we take very precise three-dimensional x-rays. And once we have that information, then we make a very precise correction. We're correcting a spinal misalignment, which creates pressure to allow the body to function better. And the end result of that, those problems that people have many times, they clear up because the body writes itself. And then Dr. Drew was kind enough to take me through this process. The first thing he did was ask me about my physical history. And I explained how I carry heavy camera equipment all the time. The next thing he did was a neck graph followed by a table examination where he was able to examine if I was out of alignment. As you can see, I was a little out of whack. Then it was time for the x-ray, which allowed Dr. Hall to see precisely how the atlas had misaligned relative to the skull. And after the x-rays were taken, precise measurements were taken that are used in the spinal correction. Then he placed me back on the table where a final adjustment could be made. They ordered me to rest for 15 minutes. A week later, I returned and got my checkup. Let's find out how it went. He looks perfectly balanced there. So you held your adjustment, that's good news. When I came here the first time, we reviewed the tape and yeah, there's like a lot of distance between my feet. He showed me, uh, Rocco showed me back at the studio. So what are we looking at now? What did you just see? So this is called a prone leg balance check and what you're showing is your legs are completely even and that's an indicator that the atlas that was locked under the skull is now in its normal range of motion. There's no stress or strain on the cord and as a consequence, the muscles on both sides of the spine are now balanced, which that's why your legs are showing balance. Great. Hey, so I'm level-headed, would it be? Your head is now on straight. Ah, that's better. Thanks, Dr. Drew. I didn't even know this existed until today, but I'm really glad I found out that I had some kind of unlevel feet going on there and uh, some back problems. So hopefully this is going to help me out, and if you're interested, the website's on your screen. And uh, come on down and check it out.